During the Great Recession, North American drivers seeking a similar platform were also targeted. What they now get is a basic platform with more upscale features available like standard traction control, ABS, front and side airbags, and tire pressure monitoring. Power windows are standard at the top of the line SV trim level. In keeping costs under control, the Versa still uses a dual system of disc brakes on the front and drum brakes on the rear wheels, while many of its competitors come with four-wheel disc brakes as standard equipment. Bluetooth is only standard at the top of the line trim level, something we don't understand for a car aimed at millennials who spend an inordinate amount of time on their mobile phones. Yet, in a nod to that group's attachment to technology, an option is the Google Send a Car feature using a mobile phone's bandwidth to link destinations into the navigation platform. In a week of road testing, we found the Versa Note has a better than expected level of interior operating noise and stop and go traffic. Handling is crisp thanks in part to an electrically assisted power steering system. Nissan is using a very familiar drivetrain for the Versa, an aluminum 1.6 liter four-cylinder engine rated at 109 horsepower and 107 foot-pounds of torque with optional active grill shutters to enhance performance and fuel economy. While it's not enough to pull a trailer, but it's adequate for something this small. The transmission choices are simple, either a five-speed manual or a CVT automatic since this isn't a high-performance vehicle. Overall, the Versa is a niche vehicle designed for the frugal who also want some of the fun features normally associated with larger and often more expensive platforms. This is Greg Morrison.